Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Welcome to today's vlog. How are all of you guys doing? Corey and I have a really busy day ahead of us again today. Kids are at school right now. We just had lunch and the kids get home in about two hours and then it's chaos from there. You guys know how our afternoon school routines fly around here. It's always, always, always busy. Now that Perry is officially done with cheer, which is kind of sad. She's actually really sad about it. She loved cheer, but she's just focusing on dance now, which has kind of taken a little load off of me and her, which has been kind of nice. But I'm sitting here talking with Corey, who we're talking about a break-in that we had. Not here at our house, but our neighbor actually had a break-in. In fact, we've had a lot we, of those we, recently. We've, we've had quite a few in our neighborhood as of recent. So yeah. Just a lot of attention happening. Mm -hmm. we had a lot of police up here. Corey went out and got some more pieces to our already security system that we have here in our house. We have been using Simply Safe and we love it, but Corey got some more things because he just wanted to add more. The break ins that we had some guys went into one of our neighbor's house and stole some bikes out of the garage. He came panicked to us about trying to figure out what's going on and if we had any footage or anything from our cameras. So I went and looked at our cameras that we have, and sure enough, we've got footage. And the footage that we have, we turned into the police, and that's how they've, they've caught them. Yeah. Simply Safe on. Home. Because of our Simply Safe cameras that we have, we're able to catch and use that footage to give to the police. Yes. Which is awesome. And so, we have them all throughout our house. So I've, I've actually gone back. We wanted, we've wanted, we been wanting to update our house even more. And so I've gone back and got a whole bunch of new systems to put on the house. Which we're excited about. So We've mm -hmm. got like a new doorbell camera. We've got carbon monoxide alarm. We've got smoke detectors. We have motion detectors. There's a panic button. There's glass break. Mm -hmm. button or a glass break detector there and then you got there's even a water detector in case something's flooding in the house and then you also have these window open window open and close window sensors yes we love those you can those are so great we've got the keypad it's all set up and then we also have the right here door lock this is really there, this is so convenient which we can automatically open from the simply safe app that i have on my phone yeah because when we're out of town Yes. And we have help because like Perry's bird, Reese's bird needs to be fed. Mm -hmm. So we have some neighbors that come help us out. So they have access to our house. They can get in and out of our house. Yep. And I can even open and close it for them. Yeah, it's really cool. There's a camera downstairs in the basement. Yep. And then also we have the outdoor camera. Here's an example of the window sensor that we have that's put on this window. So when you open the window, I get a notification. In fact, did you just hear that beep? Mm -hmm. I get a notification on the app on my phone to tell me that the window's open. And then it won't let us set the alarm in the house at that time. Now, if we're out of town at the time, this will actually notify um, the authorities immediately. And so they'll come check out our house. And then we have the outdoor camera that's installed right here, which is absolutely awesome because it has its 1080 resolution on it. So really high quality video that you get. Um, and it was so easy to install. All it is is a little magnet. So you have to install the magnet on top and then you can Put the camera on there and you can rotate it. I think it's 140 degrees. It can rotate. And it's all wireless too, which is and really it's cool. It's all wireless. Yep, it's just connected to the Wi Fi, which is awesome. The outdoor camera, it has a spotlight on it to where when it senses motion, the spotlight will turn on. And at nighttime, it has like your colored night vision on it. With everything going on out in our neighborhood, we have felt really safe using Simply Safe security system. Yeah, and there's over 3 million homes in America that love Simply Safe and trust their system. In fact, they have a huge deal going on right now. You, you can save, I think it's over 50% on security system right now. So make sure you guys check the link down below in our description box. And thank you again, Simply Safe, for sponsoring today's video. Check it out. We went on a vacation, we came back home, and our freezer is broken. If you guys have followed along, it was broken, then it worked. Now it's broken again. We don't know what's wrong with it. So. The freezer actually, when it went out, it actually runs the refrigerator too, and so the fridge went out. It's a total bummer. All of our food went bad, we were gone. We came home, our rolls had risen out of the bag, exploded over the top. We're trying to find someone to come fix it ASAP. Our food is sitting out in our garage, in our fridge out there, and in our basement little mini fridge. So this is, it's an adventure. So you guys, the kids do not have school today, it's Monday, it's still part of fall break, they start school tomorrow. So Cora and I are heading out to the gym. When the last guy came to diagnose the fridge, or he like took this off and inside he's like looking at everything. He's all, that is so hot inside here. They think we need a new fan in there for sure. But we're gonna have someone come back out and re-diagnose everything again because it was working and then it stopped working. And then it worked and then it stopped. And then it worked and then it stopped. So, and this time it never turned back on. So our food went bad. 
Anyway, Kesley's heading out to the gym too, but she's not going to our gym. She's gonna go to our clubhouse that we have here. Mm -hmm. So she's taking Reese with her. Okay. And Perry, they're gonna go. Rhett is enjoying his last day of a fall break and wasting his day away. <laughs> you wanna come to the gym with us? He can come with me and Dad where real workouts happen. Oh, <laughs> and you guys are gonna stay here with with boo boos. Since Corinne and I woke up later this morning to go to the gym, we usually are out and back by 7 a.m. It's 8.40. Um, we're having breakfast before we leave. So we're doing cream of wheat and a protein shake. So this is a good carb and protein for breakfast. It'll give us energy and I love cream of wheat. We've been, we've been making this for years and our kids love it too. Change of plans. <laughs> Kess is gonna come with me and Corey because the gym is closed. Perry and Reese aren't gonna come, they're gonna stay here. Because we, we stay a long time, we're there for like two hours and I don't think Reese and Perry would last very long there. Brett, you wanna come or no? We're home now from the gym and we didn't film much of our workout because we were getting some stuff done, weren't we, Kesley? We were getting stuff done, now Kesley's totally sore. Now her legs will be sore tomorrow. Reese has all of her friends here and they're playing Roblox, you know. And then I'm making a second breakfast because I'm so hungry, making Kodiak pancakes. One of my very favorites. I'm gonna to top it off with some yummy whipped cream and a sugar-free syrup. What do we see here? What, again, it's like the camera comes on and it's time to eat. It's always lunchtime. <laughs> you guys, I promise we do other things. <laughs> Between breakfast and lunch, we're always doing something. It's true. This is what we pulled out of our refrigerator and and salvaged. salvaged and we put it, put it down in our basement and garage outside. This We're just trying best. to eat everything this, we can. This is the best. Tortellini. I know, the tortellini is the best. With, Costco, with Costco's pesto yep. sauce. It really is the best. And then you can mix it. We like to mix them, which is funny. Not together, but like, we like to have half and half. Like Corey will do half of, half of the red sauce and half of the green. And then just dip it in different ones. I love, love, love days like this rainy winter, well not quite winter, well kind of in Utah it's winter, mostly fall, like rainy fall days, my favorite. If you guys follow me on my Shanna account, you will see that I posted, I like to post like a lot of the fitness stuff over there, so if you guys are into that and you wanna follow, come over there and follow, but um, I shared, well I did my workout today with Corey and, and Kessie like I shared, but we did lakes and I got 353 calories burned in an hour, and I posted my workout that I did. If you guys are over there and wanna check it out, go follow my channel account. I will share workouts, meals, and motivation over there. Um, this is what I was sharing here for lunch. My sister-in-law gave me a whole bunch of tomatoes. I actually just used all of them. She gave me some fresh peppers from her garden too. And I used all of her tomatoes and I made this yummy little snack. So I did two light string cheese and then I did the half a cup of tomatoes and then I did two tablespoons of this balsamic vinegar from Costco. And you guys, it's the yummiest little snack. So, and it's really good in, on your macros too. So vinegar is 60 calories, the two string, like if you wanna get the light string cheese, you can have two of them, so it's like awesome. 100 calories for those. And then tomatoes for half a cup was 16 calories. 160, 176 calories total for lunch, to, like for a little snack. They say bad things happen in threes. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly more comical than anything. This is the second thing, right? What, what's next? So it was the fridge. Okay. Now this. Yeah, what's next? So the valve is broken, so Perry turned on her tub. Uh -huh. And she couldn't turn it off because the valve is broken. Something's broken inside here that won't let it turn off, so we am have to go get a new valve. Perry was showering and then it just turned off. She's like, huh? <laughs> now I get it. I'm like, wait, she was never in here. So she's in your shower. So this, this she valve goes here. Right? I had to take it apart to, to shut that water off. Perry is now in your bathroom all wet and the, wet does she have family. shampoo on her head or anything? No, no she hasn't either. done anything on yet. What do you think no, is our, next? Our, our garage code didn't work, remember? Oh, that's right. Okay, is that our so, third thing? So is this our third? Hopefully that's it. And then a fridge and then uh, yeah. my my windows. Uh, I need oh yeah, our blinds aren't going <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Bailey ate a pumpkin today. I know, she, it was my pumpkin. 
She loved she, it. She was chewing on pumpkin, but we Googled it, and guess what? They said. Well, remember, remember, it's okay. remember what the vet told us when. Yeah. When she was when, when she Lucy constipated. Had a hard time going to the bathroom. Yeah, they said give her pumpkin. Give her pumpkin. So really? it's okay. Today we've laid pretty low. Like the kids all went with their friends off and on today. Corey and Kesley and I and we watched a movie and then we got like just hung out and got some dinner and stuff. But the kids, like I said, were at Reese and Perry just got home. And my legs are starting to fill up from this morning when Kess and I went to the gym and asked her how her legs hurt. <laughs> I just learned where the water valve was. Corey told me to come down and turn it on really quick so we can let Perry finish and shower. And so I turn it on and then he screams, turn it off! <laughs> so I had to turn it back off, so it's off for now. I don't know what's going on upstairs. All I hear is mm. frantically screaming, turn it off! I tried to turn it back on for so Perry could finish her shower. I know, I just told and, no, and it, Dad. it started exploding out of here too. Oh, <gasps> even up there? Yeah, but it was coming out of the threads. Oh my gosh. No, that was soaking wet. Okay, oh. so go downstairs, <laughs> you off. call me on your phone. Mm -hmm. Go downstairs, I want you to turn that on. And stay down there until I tell you it's good. Turn on slow. Right, do, it, do it about halfway. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, it's turning on. <laughs> That's working better. Oh. Harry! You. Hey, tell her to hurry and finish. I went downstairs to go check on Kesley and she was also in the shower. So Corey had to keep the shower on for Rhett because he went to go shower in my bathroom. Perry finished showering in Reese's bathroom and Kesley was down in her bathroom. Everyone got their showers in, we're good. And then we got bottled water so they can um, brush, their teeth. brush their teeth tonight. And the water is off. <laughs> Tomorrow kids are back in school. I'm kind of looking forward to like the full routine of that. We'll just continue this vlog tomorrow morning and you guys can, we'll just hang out with you guys in the morning. Hopefully by tomorrow morning I'll have the, the shower fixed. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Later in the evening, Reese is heading out to chair. She did this all on her own, you guys. Look, look at this hairstyle. I curled my hair too. It's really cute. And then she curled it in the back. It looks so cute. She's in her chair outfit. And I made the best broccoli and cheese chicken soup. I'm gonna share the recipe. I was just kind of see, this is my first time making it. Yeah, this one's yours. I was just making, kind of making it to see um, and experimented with it and it turned out really good. Anyway, we, it fed exactly six of us. Today's my friend's birthday. You guys know her, she's Abby. Yes. And I made this edit for her. <laughs> And I said, happy birthday, Abby. Aww, can you wait? She's 12 today, too. That's crazy, huh? You guys are getting so old. Reese is loving her chair. In fact, her very first competition is when, Corey? It's, you said it was February? February 24th. February 24th. We're actually filming an ad for Canada. We've worked with them before. And they're coming over because they love Bay and Lucy and they asked if they could come over to our house and it's gonna be like an eight hour shooting day and they're gonna come shoot here. Oh, Bay's a superstar. <laughs> and they want all of us in it, just kind of hanging out and playing with we our all dogs. Need Bay the star of the house, huh? Oh, you are you the movie star? My mom's corner has been acting weird. So my dad's fixing it. <laughs> um, so he's gonna take this off and it's gonna spill, what is it? Coolant. Coolant. Yeah, I, got, I gotta drain it. I gotta drain it first so it doesn't spill over. But what's going on is her radiator fan won't turn off. And so I am taking off the cover here and what I have to do is I have to replace the thermostat and also the uh, sensor for the thermostat as well. Something's getting clogged up in here, it won't allow for the sensor to read and turn off the radiator fan. Oh boy, the fun of owning a car, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got this bucket that we can use to try to help with the cleanup. It's gonna be a mess. Don't tell mom <laughs> that I'm using her nice cooking pan. Okay? <laughs> I'm like standing so far away. It's not really bad, but it could be. It's gonna drain quite a bit. Whew. 
You guys, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> There's still a lot more in there, but it's it's going uphill, so it's kind of stopped. But you can see how this is still full right here? Yeah. And it's full down in here, so it's it's going to leak. I can't prevent all of it. But let's use this rag, try to soak some of it up. And coolant has a chemical base on it. If I leave it on my hands too long, it can start to burn, so I should be wearing gloves. Yeah. It's finally done leaking, but I've gotten all the parts off, and this is the thermostat right here. You see all the coolant still in there? Yeah. There's the old one, there's the new one. And I gotta replace it. Something's happening to this thermostat that's getting stuck. And it's not allowing that fan belt to turn, so we're gonna replace it. I came outside to see Corey and all the magic he is doing on my car. And <laughs> I was laughing like, well, wait, what's what's it's, that? It's my, I had to create my little set because my, can't find my own. Kids so, lost it. The little funnel thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Thing, yeah. yeah. I had to Pretty clever, Corey. Pretty clever. Looks like you're filling up some Nothing. juice in there. What would I do without him, you guys? I'm telling you, he is Mr. Fix It Man. No matter, no matter what, whatever happens in the house, the kids always say, Dad can fix it. Right. And now we get the saying. Now we understand why, guys, because he really can. Corey can now, fix anything. Now we get to start it and see what really happens. <laughs> Go ahead and start it. Let's see what it does. We turn it back on and as you guys can see, the fans right here underneath, you can see these fans. They were staying on as you turn the car off. So you can see these little fans right here in the turn to help keep it cool. Most of them stay on for a little while just to cool the engine down, but this one wouldn't, it would go really high and then it wouldn't shut off for about 10, 15 minutes until after the car went off. So I replaced the thermostat and then also the sensor. Here, and here's the thermostat. I now got coolant moving back through them again. And that didn't work, so we started the car and it was still, the fan was still going. So now what I've done is I still think it's the thermostat. So now I've disconnected the battery. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll reconnect the battery, see if that resets the system. Pull it up. You guys see the temperature gauge right there? Yeah, it went to basically, 160 is basically zero, but it went down to zero yesterday after we were driving it on a few two hours. Is that going up a little bit at all? No. It takes some time for that to heat up though. I'll go drive it for a few minutes. And, yeah, I gotta warm it up to see if that temperature gauge goes up, but that fan belt's not running. And it has not done, it, it didn't do that before. So, sorry, I'm, I don't mean fan belt, but the fan radiator fan. I think we got it, babe. Harry and Reese painted their little tiny pumpkins they got a couple Sweet weeks ago. Tomorrow and it's a little donut, and then she doesn't know what that design is. She just wanted to make a cute design. This is Reese's. And Reese carved a little is so cute. baby pumpkin face. I can't open this, but it opens. Corey and I are gonna go take a little drive, and we're gonna take the doggies with us, because we wanna see if the car is gonna work. Before we even leave, the temperature the gauge is up. We're back home. We went around, we drove about five minutes. Okay, turn it off, let's see what happens. I can already tell the fan belt's not running. Oh, beautiful, Corey. Fan belt's not running. Corey, let's, can we just all give you a round of applause? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Life always throws us surprises, and I'm telling you, things happen in threes. We had our fridge break, <laughs> which is still broken. Fridge is still broken. <laughs> we got the bathroom, the shower thing fixed. Yeah, the car broke. And now the car broke, all within the same week. It's been, <laughs> it's been a joy. Rhett wants to show us a magic trick, you guys. So, Rhett, what is it? Um, this is the three of clubs. Okay, I see it. I see the three of clubs. I'm gonna change it to a queen. Waiting. What? How did you do that? Magic. A magician never reveals his secrets. I'll show you. Like, you didn't give away your what? That's true. I'm a magician. Right. In the kitchen. In the kitchen.